first story was posted three months ago by a Reddit user named Animal Lover 17. My school is about half a mile from a state prison and they had three escapees, two of which made it to my school and we locked down for most of the day as it happened in the morning. We later found out that one of them was said to be a child molester and rapist and the other was convicted of murder and robbing a store at gunpoint. Their identities made their way to local news a couple weeks after the incident. I was in the computer lab in the high school with my then girlfriend and a few other people and kept being told to stay away from the doors and windows. We shut off all the computers and heard footsteps through the hallway. I never found out if they were lying, but after police showed up, some of the kids in a couple other rooms were spreading word that someone was trying to force their doors open by kicking them and hitting the small netted view windows with something hard. They supposedly did find some of the fire extinguishers throughout the hallways, but I never personally saw them. That was the scariest, but we've had a couple shutdowns and cancellations because of escape prisoners. We had a girl get raped on the way home in the elementary schoolyard, and school was cancelled the next day. We were in middle school, but the schools are all right next to each other. There was another incident where school was cancelled because a kid got stabbed around the area between the middle school and the elementary. One of the days I went to the dentist, my friends told me school had a shutdown because an escapee was fleeing from the cops and hid in the middle school. Looking back now, there's a lot of escaped prisoners and I don't know how my parents never once thought, maybe this isn't the best town to raise four kids. Second story was posted six years ago by a Reddit user named DatPCGam. Last year, during the whole killer clown craze, a few clowns on Twitter threatened to come to our school at 11 a.m. and kill us. The school picked up on this and sent out emails to parents and planned a lockdown at 10.30. Sitting in history class, I hear the familiar sound of the lockdown alarm the teacher rushing to the windows and door, locking and closing them. To be honest, I wasn't that worried. I thought that it was just another blank threat online and nothing would happen and my day would go back to normal. But there is still an excitement to a lockdown. After 40 minutes of silence, sitting on the cold floor in the corner of the room, the emergency green flashing light turned off and the air conditioning slowly fell silent and the hallway light switched off. The school had cut the power. Why? At this point, me and my classmates were staring at each other. We all knew that something real was going on. After 10 minutes or so, we could all hear a faint banging noise from down the corridor, shortly followed by heavy and fast footsteps. Someone was running down the hallway. They started banging on the lockers and screamed, I'll kill you all, just die. At this point, a few girls started quietly crying. Then, the most terrifying thing ever happened. One of the men, dressed as a clown, ran up to my class door, banging and screaming. Multiple people were crying now. One of my friends whispered to me, we're all gonna die. I started crying too. The man swiftly moved away from our door and his scream slowly faded down the corridor. After another two hours, the principal came on the loudspeaker, surprisingly, explaining everything. He said that just after 11, two men walked into the school, one holding a kitchen knife and a camera. They ran around the school threatening to kill students, and once police raided the school, only caught one. No one was hurt. The school got over 20 buses to take the younger kids home and the kids ninth grade and over, like me, were told to walk home in groups and call the cops if we saw anything suspicious. I had a hard week at school, thinking that the second man would return with a gun or something, but nothing happened. This nonetheless would be scarred into my mind forever. The second one, as far as I know, has not yet been caught, but at this point, I feel like they're not looking for him as it's been over a year. 
but the thought of him still planning an attack on the school has made me a lot more cautious when walking to school. Since then, the school has hired a few on-campus police officers and have installed some auto-locking features on doors and windows when the lockdown alarm goes off. This has made me feel a bit better in school. But this just isn't something you can forget about. It stays around forever. Third story was posted three years ago by a Reddit user named Shotso11. My middle school was once on lockdown, and I was actually somewhat a part of it. When our bus pulled up to the school, the doors opened and our principal and a few police got on the bus. There were police cars around the parking lot, and my principal pointed at three people from my bus stop and then myself to get off the bus and go with them. We headed to the school and then into the principal's office. We sat down in there and then our principal asked us, why do you guys think you're in here today? One of the kids in there, I wouldn't really call him my friend, just someone I talked to at school, replied, Mr. Principal, I heard someone was bringing a gun into school today and considering I had nothing to do with this, I thought this next part was hilarious when my principal replied, yes, and I heard he was bringing it in for you. You could have heard a pin drop in the room with that silence. The principal told me and my other friend who were in there to sit out in the lobby of the main office while he talked to that kid about the gun. While we were waiting in the hallway, we heard a kid get called down to the office. We watched him go in the office, and then our principal announced over the intercom that we were in lockdown. The kid they called down, his name was Michael, which is also my name. He brought a gun into school that day for the other kid I was with. The school said the gun was unloaded, but I don't know if I believe that. From what I heard, the gun was going to be given to the other kid because there was supposed to be a fight after school that day and he wanted a way to protect himself if things got out of hand. The reason I was taken into the office with them is since the kid who brought the gun in was named Michael, they assumed it was me since I talked to the guy quite a bit, and our principal knew us well considering he saw us more because we rode a second trip bus in the afternoon, so we had to stay later at the school.